New reporting this morning about China's airship program. We have never before seen photos obtained by CNN of a Chinese military blimp. It was caught on satellite in a remote desert base in northwestern China. You can see it right there. Media reports say that the unmanned Chinese balloon that was caught hovering over the U.S. territory was able to gather information from several American military sites. Breaking news out of Beijing, where the Chinese foreign ministry says it regrets what could be called a civilian balloon straying into U.S. airspace. China has been very active on the military front in recent years. It's almost as if it is preparing for war. It has announced dangerous laser weapons, military ships, and multiple space weapons. The country has been investing in developing and acquiring new weapons and platforms that can enhance its capabilities in the air, sea, land, space, and cyberspace. Some of the notable examples are the Chengdu J-20, China's first stealth fighter jet, which entered service in 2017 and is expected to challenge the U.S. F-22 and F-353. It also has the DF-21D and DF-26 anti-ship ballistic missiles, which are designed to target aircraft carriers and other large surface vessels at long ranges. But it has kept one particular weapon a secret, a weapon that sits in a remote desert of the country, undetected until a massive object was detected by intelligence analysts. So what is this secret weapon, and how will it affect the future of warfare? Join us as we take a look at the military airship that China is desperate to hide. The world was stunned when a huge Chinese military airship was spotted in a remote desert in northwestern China. The airship, which is about the size of a football field, was hidden from the public eye until a satellite company took pictures of it and shared them with CNN. The images show a mysterious object that raises many questions about China's intentions and capabilities. The airship is located in a desolate area, far from any major cities or towns. It sits on a special runway that can rotate to face different directions, depending on the wind and weather conditions. The runway is more than a half a mile long and has a fence and security cameras around it. The airship is protected by a massive hangar that covers almost 900 feet of land. The hangar has a sliding roof that can open and close to let the airship in and out. The satellite company that captured the images is called Black Sky, an American firm that provides high-resolution imagery and analytics. Black Sky took the pictures in November 2022 and shared them with CNN in spring of 2023. The images were taken by a satellite called Global 7, which orbits the Earth at an altitude of about 280 miles. Black Sky has a constellation of 16 satellites that can take pictures of any place on Earth within an hour. CNN contacted the Defense Department to ask about the airship, but they did not get much information. A senior official said that they are aware of the object, but declined to comment further. CNN also reached out to several experts on airships and aviation, which gave their opinions on what the airship might be used for and how it works. Some experts suggested that the airship could be used for surveillance, communication, or even nuclear deterrence. They said that the airship could carry cameras, radars, sensors, antennas, or even weapons and fly at high altitudes for long periods of time. The airship could also serve as a platform for launching drones or missiles or as a decoy to confuse enemy forces. The experts also say that the airship could have stealth features such as a low radar signature or a camouflage coating. Other experts wondered whether the airship was a surprise to Western intelligence or whether they knew about it all along. They said that the airship could have been under development for years or that it could be a recent project. They also said that the airship could be a prototype or that it could be ready for operation. The experts also said that the airship could be part of a larger program or that it could be a standalone project. The airship's size and design are unlike anything seen before, and they caught the eye of William Kim, a specialist in surveillance balloons at the Marathon Initiative, a nonprofit military research organization. He suggested that the blimp might be a platform for testing new technologies that could enhance China's military capabilities. However, Kim's theory is not the only one. 
Jamie Jacobs, an expert from the Oklahoma Aerospace Institute, offered a different perspective based on his knowledge of airship engineering. He proposed that the blimp could act as a submarine of the skies, meaning that it could stay over a certain area for a long time without being detected or disturbed. This would make it a powerful tool for surveillance and intelligence gathering. The online community was also fascinated by the mysterious blimp, and many theories and speculations were shared on social media and forums. Some wondered if the blimp was a weapon, a spy device, or a scientific experiment. Others tried to find clues from the satellite images, zooming in and analyzing every detail. One of the most promising leads came from Eli Hayes, a seasoned researcher who had been studying the Chinese airship program for years. He noticed that the blimp was located at a Chinese military facility, which was a significant change from the previous airships that were built by civilian institutions and universities. He argued that this meant that the blimp was now part of China's military strategy and that it could have a major impact on the regional and global balance of power. The site where these images were captured is the Xinjiang base, a place shrouded in secrecy and surrounded by speculation. It first appeared in satellite footage over a decade ago and goes by names like Korla and Bohu. This base is suspected to play a significant role in China's strategic goals, with online analysts suggesting its involvement in the development of advanced technologies like anti-satellite lasers and high-powered microwaves. In 2013, the People's Liberation Army constructed a massive 900-foot hangar at this mysterious location. Researchers have noted that this hangar is too large for the airship itself. However, for years after its construction, the structure seemed isolated with little activity in the surrounding area. Even as seasonal snow covered the landscape, there was minimal indication of activity, giving the impression that the hangar was mostly inactive. Nevertheless, this isolation would soon reveal itself to be misleading. Jumping ahead to 2020, an unusual cradle-like structure suddenly appeared on the base's runway, measuring about 400 feet long and 160 feet wide. When combined with the already massive hangar, it sparked new theories about the existence of larger, undisclosed aircraft. Adding to the mystery is a restructuring within the Chinese military, where patents related to airship technologies have been reassigned to a new unit known as PLA Unit 63660. Eli Hayes, a researcher, noticed that one of the patents in this unit resembles the colossal cradle on the runway. This discovery, found while Hayes was examining Chinese patents, suggests a more centralized and focused effort to advance airship technology. However, the most revealing indicator of China's airship ambitions is the surge in activity at the base. Satellite images from Black Sky have captured underground excavations and the pouring of foundations. The hangar complex is also expanding its footprint noticeably. As the Xinjiang base continues to grow, it intensifies the intrigue surrounding it. This shift from quiet isolation to increased activity hints at preparations for something significant that could potentially reshape the global power landscape. While the exact purpose behind these developments remains uncertain, some argue that the appearance of a massive airship in November 2022 solidifies the commitment of PLA Unit 63660 to its airship program. Naturally, the recent unveiling of a colossal Chinese military blimp cleverly hidden within the desolate Chinese desert landscapes has ignited widespread curiosity on the global stage. This revelation coincided with the takedown of a solitary spy balloon off the coast of South Carolina in early 2023. The timing of these two occurrences is too significant to ignore, and the sequence of events has thrust the potential espionage aspects of China's airship program into the limelight, fueling speculation and increasing international concern. The downing of the spy balloon has exposed the strategic potential of airships for surveillance and espionage, placing China's airship program under the spotlight. This Chinese military blimp, an enormous aerial vehicle potentially capable of discrete and extended surveillance, presents a fresh set of strategic considerations. Its capabilities could provide China with an unparalleled capacity for intelligence gathering. In fact, a report from the RAND Corporation back in 2018 emphasized the cost-effectiveness of airships 
and their ability to provide more precise intelligence compared to satellites. These airships can operate at altitudes less vulnerable to destruction, offering a safer and economically feasible option for reconnaissance missions. While it is worth noting that China is not the only country using airships, as the United States military has employed aerostats in the past, this recent discovery confirms that the People's Liberation Army's program now utilizes all three types of airships, blimps, aerostats, and free-floating balloons. This strongly suggests China's dedication to advancing its airship program. Despite the Chinese government's conspicuous silence, refusing to comment on the airship, the international community is unlikely to let this development fade into obscurity. The appearance of the blimp at the military facility signaling a significant shift from civilian to military technology and research intensifies the discussion surrounding China's airship program. No longer just an academic curiosity, airships could soon become a tangible and crucial concern for international security. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below.